Today I'm going to be talking about Yerra by La Tafa. So let's start with the notes. On the top note we have Helotrope, Orchid and Tangerine. In the middle notes we have Gourmand Accords and Tropical Fruits. And on the base note we have Vanilla, Mass and Sandalwood. Well, what does it smell like? Before we keep going I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell. This fragrance is a fruity flora, mainly fruity. Don't think about the floras too much. Sweet, Gourmandish and creamy it's a very creamy fragrance it's a beautiful fragrance before i keep describing the fragrance let me tell you something i've seen latafa did a great job and i'm not saying a good job because i don't want to say that i see they really excel themselves with this one with yara because it smells pretty good to me i will say this is the type of fragrance that i will expect from someone or for a brand like I don't know, Dior or Gucci or something like that because it smells fancy, it smells expensive, it smells super good. <laughs> I really love these brands and the price is pretty affordable. So the Latafa, I think they really, <laughs> I don't know, they did a great job with this one. So in the opening, what is it that I get? I get the but I get the, the one that shows up the most to me in the opening is the tangerine it's like a sweet citrus and it smells really good also i get very strongly is a very creamy very creamy coconut it smells so good that combination of all the fruit but that tangerine and that creamy coconut imagine yourself like you are at the beach in the caribbean just enjoying the sun looking at the ocean you know that's what it reminds me of put me in that mind frame when i smell that fragrance because it smells so good and don't think just because i say coconut is a coconut fragrance no 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 it has coconut and the coconut is easy to detect but it has another thing that make it more than just a coconut fragrance so as the perfume starts drying down what is it that i get i get the fruits again here during the whole life of the perfume the perfume is sweet and the perfume is fruity. So in when it dries down, I get the fruits and I also get the florals. Now the florals, I get them as a group. I don't get just this one flower and that one flower and this other flower separate and easy to determine which one is it. No, I get them as a group, just florals, but the smell that they put is minimal the fragrance itself is a fruity fragrance with some florals in it and i think they put the florals in them to make the fragrance a little more interesting a little more appealing and i think it works because it smells delicious now like i was saying this during the whole life of the perfume is a sweet fragrance and i like that because i like sweet perfumes but this one also goes to not just be sweet but also goes to be gourmandish so that's what i'm saying this is a very interesting fragrance very very i don't know it has such a fancy touch to it so anyway it goes into being gourmandish not totally 100 percent gourmandish but it goes there it go it takes you there you know and it smells really good now this fragrance that creamy coconut i still smell it in the dry down but um it's not as strong as it was in the opening it's still there i still detect it but just not as strong anymore but now i really i love the opening because that tangerine cultivates me <laughs> you know that the dry down is very beautiful you get your florals you get minimum not much then you get your fruits a big part of the fruit and then you know that creamy coconut that never goes away but i mean it's this is a very very creamy fragrance don't find surprise about it because it's really yummy really creamy and that gourmandish touch plus wind sweet boy it does smell pretty good i really like this one now that said there is another thing that i have to mention even so this is a really nice fragrance i myself really like it very much because i think it smells pretty good i do not think it's a unique fragrance i think this is a common smell nowadays i see most people smell this way but it smells so good because see, i what can i tell you i do like it i do love it. and i'm not too much into gourmandish i'm not too much into fruity but this one is something special this one 
I now, know. when it comes to projection, it projects well. When it comes to duration, on my skin, it's about seven hours. And when would I wear something like this? This is a yummy fragrance, sweet, going to good morning. So to me, very flirty. So to me, the best time to wear something like this is definitely to go on a date because it smells yummy. You smell good, but you also smell yummy. Like I wanna gag you, you know, kiss you or something. I don't know, something because it smells so good. So I would say for the date, definitely. Because uh, plus, <clears throat> I noticed that men seems to like gourmet aromas, vanilla aromas versus if it's floral or clean or something like that type of aroma they don't really care much for them so I think a day will be a good time for this fragrance now this fragrance I think for summer it will be maybe a little too much so I thinking it's better for not for cold weather but when it's not so, so hot outside so maybe spring maybe uh, fall, winter, those are good times for going for the night, for going to lunch, early in the morning when it's super hot outside. Mm, I, I wouldn't feel so myself, but if you like it, then go for it. <laughs> I think this brand is very wearable. Actually, I think you can wear it to go to work, I think you can wear it to go out with your friends, or any of I wouldn't think it's super elegant, I wouldn't say that, but it smells so good that I think you can even wear it to go to a wedding but I will try to avoid that a little bit just because it's it's not even so it smells so good and because it smells that good I think it will be appropriate for a wedding but it still is more into the flirty type of thing the flirty have fun type of situations you know in my opinion anyway that's how I see this fragrance. another beautiful Florida fruity fragrance is this one that is called souvenir Flora Bouquet and it's by a smell. But this one is not gourmonish, but it smells really nice and it's very, very similar to the Lina. I did a video about it and I'm gonna put this video next. So if you want to, you can just click and go watch it. Thank you very much for being here and we'll see you next time. Bye.